Have you all seen this news from a couple of days ago that cult leader Nature Boy has been found guilty on all counts? Well, if you have not seen the news, here it is. Nature Boy was sentenced to life without parole. He has 30 days to appeal. Skipping down to the middle of this page, investigators have accused him of leading a cult known as Carbonation, raping a member when she tried to leave in 2022 and posting revenge corn online after she left. He was found guilty on all charges and I have compiled some videos that I got from TikTok just to let you know a little bit more about who this man was. I mean who this man is. I'm gonna try my best to give you the fastest rundown on Nature Boy that I possibly can. First things first, the name of his cult is Carbonation. Now, how I was first introduced to Carbonation is when they were flying on my old airline that I used to work with. Um, they were flying on the aircraft and the plane got ground stopped and they had to get removed from the plane because of how bad they smelled. But that's neither here nor there. Let's talk about the cult. Nature Boy successfully ran his cult for about 10 years or so before he was caught in April of 2022. He's currently serving time awaiting trial for false imprisonment, grape, and revenge corn. Nature Boy was so off of his rocker. Um, hell is really the best place for him, but I guess jail would be the second best. He was making these people fight each other. Um, he was making his women fight each other until they were bloody. There was also a mysterious infant death on his uh, compound when they were living in, I think it was Ecuador, and also an elderly lady passed away under his care because he would not allow her to take any medicine or allow her to see a doctor. He was manipulating these people every way he possibly could, including controlling what they ate, when they ate, if they ate, what they wear. Apparently there was some drug use going on, but honestly, the man was so sick, I, I don't put anything past him. He would go on live on Big O all the time, like 24 hours a day, and he would humiliate his wives. He would talk about them and their sexual performances in front of not only the World Wide Web, but also everybody in the house. He would tell, you know, who was good at what. He would also put couples that were in his household on the spotlight and when they would confide in them about their relationship issues, he would pretty much blast them in front of the whole house. There's literally so much stuff I can say about Nature Boy because I went on that rabbit hole like years ago. And then when he got arrested, I went on the, went down the rabbit hole again. This is a whole series, is a whole series that I can make about that, but that's the synopsis of who Nature Boy is. There is no white people. It doesn't even make sense. There's only humanity in different vibrations of brown. Everything in nature is green and brown. Different shades of brown. When you go to the beach, what color is the beach? Brown. brown. Tan, brown. Tan brown. You see? So all of humanity is brown. Different shades of brown depending on the, the melanin vibrating in the mel uh with in the MSH, the melano st stimulating hormone that they have in the body, you can lose your brown. It's called vertilago. You can lose melanin and become less brown, or you can gain melanin and become more brown. wants to tell her side of the story, and it's an interview you only see on 11 Alive. Elysio Bishop, also known as Nature Boy, is still in jail, facing charges that also include rape. His wife tells our Paula Soro he forced her to marry him after three years of knowing each other. I feel that now looking back, I feel that I fell in love with an idea because he pretended to be someone that he wasn't. Behind this smiling face, Velvet Marquez faced her hardest years next to Eligio Bishop. He literally held me hostage. He took all of my identification, my passport, my, my uh, birth certificate, my social, my bank cards, everything, you name it, 
medical documentations. She says Bishop, the leader of the so-called cult Carbonation, went from spoiling her to abusing her when she got pregnant. I was forced to engage in sexual activity that I did not want to do. I was beat, still strangled on multiple occasions. So I had to like uh, willingly engage in these sexual activities because of to, to keep myself safe. He would abuse me in front of the women. She had their daughter in 2019, and a year and a half later, she says he forced her to legally marry him in a Las Vegas chapel. There was no medical attention given to us, so when I actually went into labor, I had to be rushed to the hospital two hours away. For years, the cult would drive and settle across Central America. Velvet says Bishop lived off of other members' PPP loans and life savings. She gave him her $3,000 college fund, while others gave tens of thousands of dollars and after four tries she successfully ran away with their daughter with no money but hope my child is important i don't understand how anybody could leave their child to be with him or to go live with him and we've been following this story closely since his arrest and also have interviewed another woman who lived with bishop after velvet did you can find her side of the story and more about the group on 11alive.com An alleged cult leader will now spend the rest of his life in prison after jury found him guilty Friday on all, all counts, including rape. Elijah Bishop, also known as Nature Boy, was on trial for rape, false imprisonment, and three counts of sharing sexually explicit content on social media. Prosecutors say their crimes happened while he was a leader of a cult called Carbon Nation. Bishop spoke to the courtroom right after his sentencing once victims read their impact statements. Is there anything else? My heart bite. Light as a feather, I promise you, I love you and I'm still here. I I miss one way, I see what y'all doing, and I want you to know, I forgive you. And I see y'all in the end. The DeKalb County judge issued the maximum sentence sending Bishop to prison for life, plus 10 years without the possibility of parole. One thing I am loving about 2024, and this is a continuation from 2023, is that we are in find out season and a lot of bad characters are actually finally facing some consequences of their actions. And so many times women, um, women as victims, victims in general are brushed aside. Our, um, our abuses aren't taken seriously and these types of people get to get away with it. There have been no consequences, but we are seeing that lots of people are finally getting their due. And this is just another person, another another person that gets to be locked up and taken off of the streets. And I am here for what 2024 is giving. Um, we have so many predators that are still out there running around. So there is still much work to do, so many things to clean up. But this is a great start to this year. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but jump in the comments. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, and share.